Hello my cyber sisters! Today we have another highly requested video which is a hip dip reducing workout. You heard it. Reducing, not getting rid of. We're going to be starting off with fire hydrants. All you have to do is act like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. That's literally it. Lift up that leg as high as you can while also trying to squeeze those glutes. These have really helped me in reducing the appearance of my hip dips even though I do still have them. Not to worry though, hip dips are completely normal and are naturally found on almost everyone. The second workout are good old in and out squat pulses. So all you're going to do is choose a number. I usually choose 10 and in wide stance squat position, just pulse up and down 10 times. Then with close or closed squat stance, pulse up and down nine times and just repeat while switching from wide and closed squat stance, going down in reps until you reach one. You're really going to feel the burn with these and even better, see results. Did I mention all of these exercises are beginner friendly and can be done in the comfort of your home? So don't be shy to try these exercises out, girl. Now going into exercise number three, alligators. I call these alligators because it's kind of like your legs are an alligator's mouth, opening and closing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. Anyways, all you're gonna do is open and close your legs. It's that simple. Although I will say, slow and steady definitely wins the race. The slower and more controlled you are, the better the burn. And the better the burn, the better the results. All right, and going into exercise number four, crab walk squats. Y'all ever see a crab walk? <laughs> They're so bow-legged they have to walk sideways. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Almost like a side lunge type of squat kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep my legs in a wide squat stance and I keep going until I've done 10 reps on each leg. You're gonna repeat this three times. And girl, when I tell you, you gonna feel this one, you gonna feel it. This is the ultimate hip filling out exercise. It really helps to shape up the booty while also building those curves. So say bye bye hip dips. And last, but certainly not least, exercise number five, bridges, which are my personal favorite. But these aren't your ordinary bridges. First of all, you're gonna go up and then push out. When you push out, this is really going to work that area where the hip dips are prominent. I've seen amazing results on myself with doing these. And if these aren't your ideal kind of bridges, you can always do like the regular bridges where you're just going up and down without pushing out because those also work as well. Also bridges are known to build the top of the booty and the lower back, meaning you're going to have that shelf like booty. So I mean, who doesn't want that? I do three sets of 20. So you want to feel that burn girl slow and steady also wins the race on these. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to stay positive, prosperous, and popping, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.